I like Panaplex displays. I've got quite a few. Some of them, in fact, most of them, I would say, are test equipment, things like multimeters and frequency meters. I've even got some electronic digital thermometers, which have Panaplex displays. And they're, they're really nice. I, I, I like them a lot, and I look for them on uh, eBay, and sometimes I buy them. Uh, I also buy Panaplex calculators. You might almost say I've got too many Panaplex calculators. Some of them are here, um, and some of them are quite interesting, some of them not so much. These three here, very nice, interesting Panaplex calculators, lovely neon glow. This one is a little bit special. It's 14 digit for one thing. This one is 10 digit, this one is 8 digit, this one is 12 digit. Uh, the 8 digit one is the Canon Canola L802. 8 digit display, fairly straightforward, adding machine style calculator with a plus equals and minus equals keys. It has a, a constant button here which latches down. Quite straightforward stuff for its era of the 1970s. A little bit more fancy, the Sharp Compet CS2106. This one has the usual plus and e uh, plus equals button for an adding machine. And usually for an adding machine type calculator, it has a square root button. Um, it has a memory. This one's got no memory, just a, just a constant. This one's got a constant button which you can engage. And a memory. Down here we've got the Texas Instruments TI-3500. Again, plus equals for an adding machine style um, calculator keyboard. A switch here for constant. Um, no memory. Uh, 10 digits, lovely panaplex display. Uh, all of these have the, the fantastic Star Trek styling of the deeply recessed display. There's, there's quite a deep recess here to, to shadow the display. It, 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 it's quite bright. Uh, I have got lighting on here, um, but the displays are hidden away in the body of the calculator to shade them from ambient light. This one not quite so much. This one, the Sharp Compet CS6301, um, 14 digit, again it's got the fairly deep um, sh shade over the uh, display. This one I want to show you in more detail, so let's move the camera a bit closer. Which is where I find I need to bring the camera in just a little bit. Let's try it like that, see how that looks. Okay. So I think you can see we've got a 14-digit display up at the top here. It's not quite in focus, is it? I wonder if we can do better with that. There we go. How's that? Now, you might notice that it's got little markers for every three digits. So it's showing you where the thousands are. It hasn't got commas separating for thousands. It's got little apostrophe signs at the top. And let's press the digits one at a time. The keyboard is a nice one on here, it's a reed switch keyboard. Look at the four. The four has got an extra segment. This isn't a seven segment display, it's an eight segment display. It has an extra segment that only lights up when you type a four. So the whole display has got one extra segment in each digit just for showing the digit 4 and making it look a little bit nicer. I think that's a really nice feature. Let me clear that and put in some, some more 4s. There we go. All with that extra little segment on them. And that's the only thing it's used for. This one has a square root button, and so if I put 49 like that and hit square root and then equals, I get 7. And it's quite, quite quick. It doesn't mess about at all. Another video that I'm going to do in a moment will show the square root on the other sharp calculator and that's much more interesting. But for the moment there we have the interesting display on the sharp Compet uh, CS6301 and the extra segment on the display just for the four. So if you like this kind of thing do subscribe to my channel and we'll make some more videos like this one.